there's been constant lightning for the least at least the last 10 minutes <clears throat> and I figured oh once I get my camera it'll all stop but we'll see but it's been consistent last 10 minutes big bolts of lightning coming down yeah baby I should play there we go baby and a bit of a bit of thunder I should play Jacob's Ladder in the background maybe I'll upload it with Jacob's Ladder in the background dun 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 of course I got the beat completely wrong Rest in peace, Neil. Yeah. Hope I get don't get dark for having PBS in the background, but it's a digital public. It's PBS. Yeah, that was a nice one. Did you see that one? Sorry, my tripod. I took it apart and put it in a bag. Pretty much done with my uh, personal life and gardening stories, the ZTGS stuff. So I'm... I'm just holding this between my two hands while I'm having a smoke. I've got three cartons left. When they're done, I'm going to try quitting. This time, I don't have my mom to blame anymore. She's dead. And so, it was so easy to blame everything on her. When I was stressed, I would just go out, get cigarettes, be a rebel. When you try to mold somebody in a certain way that they don't want, then you face resistance. My mom wanted me to be a good Jehovah Witness. I now have hair down in my ass. I got a goatee. I grew up on metal. Started smoking weed at 13. I still smoke cigarettes. Oh, yeah, I already mentioned. Yeah, baby. I became a Satanist for one month. Figured since Jehovah and Jesus didn't want me to have my Micronauts and my Darth Vader poster and my Lord of the Rings books and my Ozzy records. I didn't list some help, so I looked up Elisha Crowley's book. I copied a pentagram from that book, and I drew it, and it was beautiful, and I shoved it under her bed. She kept throwing all my shit away, saying that it would attract demons. I'm like, fucking bitch, I'm going to sick a demon on you. So yeah, my mom drove me to Satanism. It only lasted until, like, you know, a month later I go, is have everything been peaceful, no more demonic attacks? And she's like, you've been a good boy. Everything is nice. And I said, I want to show you something. I brought her to the bed and I pulled it out and it was stuck up underneath her bed with the cellophane. So I just pulled it off and I just stuck it to her chest. I said, that's been under your bed for a month. And then she proceeded to chase me about the house. I had my eyes closed, but I felt the flash, or I saw the flash. Uh, she chased me about the house with a broomstick, beating me about the head with it. I think I was 10 years old. I don't know why I was talking about her. I lost my train of thought. Enjoy the Thunder Show.
going to get me a dog, going to foster some kittens. I, I saw kittens that I wanted so badly, but I can't commit my life to another cat. I've had my cat for 20 years. I can't get another cat and then figure out where to put her if I decide to go travel, if I decide to go abroad. I have some close friends that I trust uh, that I feel comfortable with, but that I wouldn't trust giving them my cat. That was a beauty. So I'm going to foster kittens, so I get a rotation of kittens. I don't have to commit to one, but I am thinking about adopting a dog. I'm going to also foster some dogs and figure out which one meshes well, which one gets along with Boo, my cat. Um, one that isn't too needy and just too fidgety. Definitely one that doesn't bark at everybody. I've got a barker next door to me, and I can't have the dogs clash, and I'm not going to get a dog big enough that can kill me if it wanted to, if it went psychotic, if it developed Alzheimer's and forgot that I was his best friend and decided to just put his canines around my neck. So a small to medium-sized dog that I could take on walks, get me back in shape, no more cigarettes. Once the cigarettes are done, no more Dr. Pepper, too. The day I smoke my last cigarette the, is the day I stop drinking about three liters of Dr. Pepper a day. A day. I save the bottles, the two-liter bottles, and I give them to our dear housekeeper, Irma, who's going to still continue to work here. I'm going to have work for her. My cheap-ass mom wouldn't give her a raise when I first moved down. Irma asked for more money because there was a second person here now, and my mom refused. I don't know why. Irma's a Jehovah Witness. Be Christian to your fellow Christians, right? But Irma won't have to do much because nobody's going to be using the master bedroom as of yet. There's no way I'm going to start sleeping ooh, in the bed present, uh, formerly occupied by my mom. With the ancient furniture that goes back all the way to my grandparents. I'm going to save that for my brother and my sister-in-law or somebody on my cousin's side. Because my mother had a, has a brother up in Irvine. Whoever wants that shit, I don't want anything. I'm tossing every single Jehovah Witness, Watchtower Awaken, magazines, cassette tapes, everything associated with the Watchtower Association is going... I'm going to call a couple of the elders or whatever and say, hey, I got a bunch of this shit. If you want to take it, distribute it. If you want to keep it for, I don't know, archival purposes, because this is shit that goes all the way back to the... the late 70s, early 80s. I'm going to fumigate this house, I'm going to rid it of its Jehovah taint. Who knows? Maybe I'll start burning incense, do ancestral worship for my father in the garden. I did pick up some incense in a little gold pot. And on his birthday or on his death day, I'll just burn incense to him out in the orchard. And make sure I watch it, of course. I'm responsible. Look at that. I definitely don't want to be starting no fires burning incense in my garden, which is always well tended to, so it's not like everything's going to be dry and burn up. No. Three sticks of incense on special occasions to honor my father. Until the street, until the trees that I grow are strong and established, and in case they don't get irrigation or the new owners of this place uh, don't really know what they're doing or won't, or neglect the trees, the trees will still be able to maintain themselves somewhat. So the trees I got in right now, I'd say about two to three more years, they will be 
established and can fend on their own. And by then I'll figure out what I want to do with this place and where I want to go. And if Boo is still with me, I'll take her wherever I go. I hope she's still with me. She'll be 23 years old. I think the oldest cat that I can I can recall ever hearing of. I'm sure they may even live older. It's like 30 years old. I don't think Boo will make 30, but she can make three more. If not, I'll bury her on this property. But let's not go there. 1040. Okay. End of lightning storm. Hey, this will be a final conclusion to my ZTGS. My mom's dead. My life is my own.